Hey guys, Bloodstone25 here. Playing FSX once again. Today, we will be flying a PMDG Triple Seven Freighter of Lufthansa Cargo from Leipzig yeah, from Leipzig to uh, Domodedovo. Now this is a part of the uh, the DLH virtual Oops, turn pumps on I'm just going to turn on all of them uh, shift P2 and let's get the engines on. Start. So right, we're beginning engine start. And make sure the thing is set correctly. And also set flaps five. This part of the Luf of the DLH virtual uh, cargo tour, uh, Africa and. Uh, Asia cargo tour. So we fly to Moscow and then from Moscow to uh, Sochi and then Sochi to Almaty. Almaty. And one of the legs includes Kai Tak. Oh yeah! <laughs> that should be interesting. And uh, I will be flying all of it in a 777 uh, freighter. You can fly it with a uh, with an MD11. However, is it? yeah, turn the packs on as well. However, I uh, damn it, my brain just decided to say fuck this job. I quit. Um, however, I have not, you know. Uh, the PMDG MD11 stopped working for me. I couldn't find any freeware MD11s. But if you guys know of any good, you know, or, well, not just any good, any f MD11 freighters of with uh, Lufthansa cargo livery, then please send me a message. Or, you know, comment. I don't. But in, today I'm just going to fly from Doma de Dova, or from Leipzig to Doma de Dova, and. Maybe tomorrow I'll do both the Sochi and the Almach. Almach. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone who lives in Kazakhstan. The country is brilliant. But then I get. Oh, yeah, I should probably turn on the fuel filter to that engine if we don't want to get off the ground. However, you know, however, I'm sort of a space enthusiast. I'm partially saying that because of Baikonur. And in all honesty, that is all I know about Kazakhstan, so I apologize to. The Kazakh people who are watching my videos, which uh, there aren't many of, there are you know occasionally some Kazakh people, but they're not a common occurrence. All right, so we're going to take off on runway one. Oh Christ! On a bike, forgot to set up the FMC properly. I mean departure. R What? <laughs> I'm sorry. None of those. Let's go a zero eight left. Screw it. That's going to be fine for me. And uh, departure arrival. Dumb the double arrival ILS three two right. I'm not sure which one I'm going for, but screw it. Yeah, that one. Execute now. Let's get rolling, shall we? So I will mention this is a consider. You might get to see more DLH virtual videos now. But 
because it's consider it, it's a lot laggier usually. Wait, is is that like meant to be a flight attendant telling the passengers to make sure to read their safety cards? This is a cargo plane. Yeah, we're taking off on that runway because it's longer, and I'm. Uh, I didn't set the V speeds, did I? Yeah, I should probably set the V speeds. V, v speeds. Yeah. Index, please. Um. I index. Right, I should probably focus a bit on the on the fact that I'm in a moving aircraft uh, menu. FMC. Crap! No! 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 Yes. Ding! 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 There, V speeds thing. Uh, so we just taxi along there. Oh, it seems there's another airport over there. <coughs> so you might see me do a few more, a few of these uh, tours. So I think I'll I'll complete this tour, or well, I might, you know, the tour might be kind of reserved for weekends only for some of the longer flights, or due to some of the longer flights. Like, you know, I'll match it to uh, Kai Tak, that's... See, I would want to get to, uh... To a match here... Tomorrow, so I can get to Kai Tak this weekend. Because then, you know, I'm going to end up flying up to Johannesburg. Johannesburg. The yeah, Kai Tak approach. Going to be interesting, considering I'm... I am not the best at landing, at, you know, just landing planes in general. Not be going for one of the most challenging approaches in the world. I'm not going to say the most challenging, i say the most challenging is either Saba or Lukla. But then again, that's not really the... Well, you have very little margin for error. 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 It's good. That thing is going to work because I said so. Yeah, that's that's apparent logic, mate. But at least I have a bit more uh, freedom. I'll set Vnav. I'm just hoping it stays. Yeah, that thing is gaining speed. Just hit the brakes. Yeah, this is only a three-hour flight, so this would fall for me as a short haul. Even though in reality it's probably classified as a medium haul. Oh, this is zero eight. Ah, right. Boom. Just boom. Right, um, lights. Drove on. Taxi off. Ding, ding, ding. Take off thrust set. We're ready to go. Huh, it seems we're just slightly below below glide slope here. But if you you might have noticed, uh, most cargo flights don't operate from the big airports. So, you know, we're not doing this cargo trip from Frankfurt. Come on, stay on the bloody runway. Well, we've skidded off the runway, so that would give the uh, plane spotters quite a view. Due to all the sand and dirt and stuff that would be kicked up. I'd say not much damage would be done to the aircraft. Okay, we better reach that. So up onto that point, so we could still stop. I highly doubt that. Well, rotate, I want to get my ass off the bloody ground. There we go, positive rate. Gear up, autopilot on. There we go, so the gear is up and locked as we climb out. Set flaps to one. No mate, I'm I'm I require you to maintain two four zero knots. <laughs> While we're below ten thousand. Right, that and 
This is where our journey around Asia and Africa begins. I'm Boss925, and I'll see you guys once we begin our approach to Domodedovo in Moscow. See you then. Okay, guys, we're almost on approach to Domodedovo. Just still a last time tester, and yeah, sometimes the aircraft just takes time, takes a while to load. Mm -hmm. so, yes, there we go. The dove is actually back there. You can just see it here. And due to the approach path I've selected, we'll do a bit of a loop. We'll kind of loop around before getting aligned. Don't know why, but screw it. And the windows are openable. Let me I can tell that's the tiller. Wait, no. Wait, disengage the autopilot by accident. I don't know. I have to turning by itself. The FMC message. Yeah, there's discontinuity. Yeah, well, I mean, DMD. Yeah? yeah, you all agree? Watch. Right, I can try the spoilers. Uh, DMD. Boom. I know it's 55 degrees. That looks like. Let's go execute. There. And then CF32 right. Sorry, CF32R. Well, since I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to let this thing finish its turn. I'm just curious right, if I zoom out a bit. So this is just telling me to approach in a different way. Well, these are no other discontinuities. I'm presuming, yeah, that's. I'm presuming that's the uh, abort slash go around stuff. If this is not your standard approach. Really? Just some occasional light flashes there in the rudder. You can see a bit of the crew there. As you can see, it's not rendered at all. I'm curious as to what some of these are, though. Like, some of them are obvious, like, you know, the landing gear, the slots, the engines, the... That's a landing gear already. But what are these things? You don't really even get to see them normally. I mean, could you please show me the bloody... Right, there we go. Right, zoom in. Zoom out. No, actually, we're going to stick with 240. There we go. Triple something. 
Good Day USA. <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't think we should be... Well, letting in with Putin, who's... Yeah, we'll be fine landing a plane with that in Russia. <laughs> well, Putin did say you, the USA is a great country. I think even before Trump got elected. Also, does anybody know where the front of that is? The uh, front of the vertical stabilizer is grey. Well, you know, the less... Lest. The rest of it is the color of, you know, whatever airline. In this case, it's Lufthansa colors. Or, yeah, it's just Lufthansa, you can only tell it's a cargo because there's no bloody windows. Does the LH actually operate uh, 777s? I think, they, I think they do. They also operate 747-8s. The reason it's, you know, they go from 400 to dash 8 is because a lot of the uh, the things for the for the dash eight seven four seven dash eight I should say because the dash eight may also be you know the bombardier dash eight is you know, borrowed from the. 787. Venus isn't on, is it? I was going to do a slow, gradual descent to make sure we don't overspeed. So that flap is extend so, you know, flap uh, that spoiler just that one there is extended fully. Oh the wing flex, it's so pretty. It's interesting flex physics there. Should I just attempt to land now? Well, either way, I'm going to slow down to a one five zero knots. We'll go for. I think we're too close to viably slow down. I mean, we're going to seem circle around and land on that runway. We we'll say because this is a tour. It's also to kind of show off the aircraft. I want the interior. Give me the interior. Right, I think we can set flaps one. Okay, just retract the spoilers. I think we'll. It will probably be a good idea. And you can see the nose is rising. Flaps five. This is the. Well, I'm going to say the usual takeoff. Flaps. I did deploy those a bit too early, but uh, right, flaps 15. Let's drop the gear just before we fly over. And then proceed to drop the flaps further. There you go, you can see the gear are down. And the gear. I think they're called gear bay. Doors are closing. I've dropped the flaps to full. You can see the engines are actually spooling up. I think we'll go for 160 knots for the approach. I also set the auto brake to max because I'm not too trusting of this aircraft. So what I think we're doing 
is we're going to fly around here and land on that runway. Or, we're flying around and landing on this runway. And you can see another airport off to our right there. Not sure which one that is, to be perfectly honest with you. Could be... Could be Sheremetyevo, it could be Vnuk... Vnukovo? Just... Moscow, why do you have to name your airports in such a way? I mean, Domodedov and Sheremetyevo, sure. But Vnukovo? We can call this a mock approach because we're flying over the runway, technically. Seriously, though, we're, we're directly over the runway. Now we're turning over the terminal, which is a mixture of normal FSX and, uh, something else that I downloaded. Which is a demo version of, I think, Moscow X, it's called. Yeah, that's what Tower sees, just... Dun. Dun, dun. That's a... That's quite a small circle there. And you can see a 74 there. 74 and a Yushu 96 on Suhoi Superjets. Uh, Superjet 95 or 100. Another Illusion. Illusion 76. More 747 to 2 plus 154. You can see them in the old Aeroflot and new Aeroflot liveries. Yeah, and that's all there is. You know, I'm not sure if I mentioned the Illusion 76, but I think I did. Those are, uh, Ruski cargo planes. I have a feeling I could say that's... I can say Ruski because the Russian center, you know, Ruski. Usually that means anything that has to do with Russia. Um, just thinking of an example, but it is used. Well, then, yeah, in Russia if you say... Or in Russian if you're saying, I can speak a little bit in Russian, you'd say... Yagavaryu Paruski Nimnoga. So I think Ruski is referring to something of Russia. No, it's Yeah, I'm just, I was just thinking of any to see if I could come up with any other examples, but I couldn't. But there we go, we're beginning our turn. So this is uh, the freighter version of the seven the triple seven two hundred LR. 200, 200 LR long range. Also, um, I think regarding the triple seven, there is a thing that people do that really bugs me. I think I think this is something I share with with uh, Igor, and that is when people call it the seven seven seven. You know, granted, you actually. And with 777, it does piss me off. Because it's, you know, anybody in the aviation community refers to it as the 777. Except that they can't speak English, in, in which case, you know, they probably say 777 in their own language, or they might say 777. I really don't care in that case. But when, you know, almost every English speaking av geek, or anyone, even. You know, even that damn Boeing calls it the triple seven. If Boeing calls it the triple seven, that's what you call it. And there's a seven four seven. You know, like granted, you know, I think the seven four seven. I'm fine with people calling the seven forty seven, and you know, seven thirty seven, seven twenty seven. I think that with the seven one seven, I'm not. Com I don't like people calling it the seven seventeen. I've never heard them call it that. So, so from seven eight seven. 787, I've never heard that. 767, 767, yeah, 757, yeah. See, those are fun, but I think for some reason people calling the 777 the 777 just bugs me. I don't know why, and if you do it, I apologize. It just really ticks me off. Probably because, as I said, you know, Boeing refers to it as the 777. I think the reason I. The 747 doesn't piss me off. They call it the 747 or 747. It's because Boeing uses both to refer to the aircrafts. Aircraft, not aircrafts. Yeah, a fun fact about 
Um, well, this aircraft, uh, when you saw the Tupolev 154s over there, um, those Tupolevs, which are considerably smaller than this fucking behemoth, have the same number of landing gear. If you watch any of my videos in which I fly Tupolev 154, I think there, there's definitely one where I fly from, uh, uh, I fly from Moscow, I'm here in Domodedovo, to, uh, what's it called? Uh, Le Bourget. But I definitely made another one. I, d I know I made another one, I just can't remember it. Or maybe I just want to make it. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I did the Tupolev 154 uh, uh, Moscow to Warsaw. That's it. See, I'm not, I, I haven't lost my mind completely. Only somewhat. How are we doing? Well, we're just going to have to wait for that to load a while. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, we're about to begin our turn. Watch. <laughs> Don't believe me. Just watch. The aircraft should begin its turn shortly. Come on, Triple Seven, why are you not turn? Let's see. No, it's just the note there. There was a slight. There we go. Like there was a slight wind chat and then. I don't think now does he go all out. Yeah, well, he, the autopilot, it. You can see the flap runs there. Those are the inter. Those are in between the two sets of flaps here and here. I think we're about about halfway through the turn. And this should leave us perfectly aligned with whatever run we were landing on. Well, that flight path has changed. 3, 2, right. Oh, no. I said we're landing on this one. We seem we're landing on this one. I think I'm actually going to reduce the auto brake to a bit less than max, I think. I'd say 3 should do, because... Uh, Dumb the Dover has a fairly long runway. I mean, it used to be Moscow's main international airport until it was replaced by Chernomkiev uh, a few years ago. Of course, I'm not speaking out of experience. I've never been to Moscow or Russia in general. Hmm. Most of countries I've been to: Hungary, Ireland, England, Greece, uh, Slovakia, Malta, Spain. Technically, Portugal, if you count Madeira. I think... Uh, I think that's it. But I wouldn't... Oh, yeah, I've been to Austria as well. I think that's it. I haven't been to any other countries. Well, uh, actually, I've been to Romania. <laughs> Yeah, just some of these little things like every now. I haven't been in Romania recently, which is why I didn't remember it. I don't think I have too many Romanian viewers either. Well, I know my main viewership is in the U.S. Followed fairly closely by uh, uh, I think Great Britain, the U.K. and. Uh, Yeah, an iOS sandwich. Okay, approach, hold on. This aircraft's gonna fly itself in on approach and I'll put it down. Uh, you know, once it's basically, once it's got itself lined up and all, so I can get a good center line alignment.
Yep, the nose is dropping. We're beginning our uh, final approach. We're on final. Short final, I think this is called. Right, there is our runway. I think that runway does not have ILS. Maybe it's, maybe that's just a VFR. Hold on, why is the why are the uh, flap runs up? Oh yeah, quick question: Does the auto throttle disengage uh, when you hit the ground? Well, let's find out, shall we? Okay, that's a bit of a texture glitch. There we go. So we're flying in over the forest in front of the runway. There's an aircraft there, and I hope he's not landing on on the runway we're using. Uh, does it just pull those up to somewhat reduce lift, maybe? What's our put? Our uh, rate of descent. Okay, get ready to flare. And we're negative a, we're descending at a thousand FPM, which is a uh, not good to land at. Which is why you flare. Well, I'm curious. Is auto flare a thing? So is it going to automatically flare? Damn it! I mean, it's lifting the nose slightly, but not nearly enough. I'm. There we go. I've overpowered the autopilot. I've also pulled the thrust back to idle. Damn it. Damn it, come on. Come on. Okay, maybe I did need Max. Uh... Come on, break. Reverse. Oh no, I'm hitting the spoiler button. Please no runway over him, please no runway over him. Yeah, autopilot disconnected, I know. Yeah, I know this would be normally where you uh, stole the reversers. Actually, yeah, I'm going to stole the reversers. Have I? Yeah, no, I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep my foot on the brakes. My feet on the brakes. Wait, what's the ground speed? 23. And just. Oh, sweet F5. Just raise it up. And now disable the landing lights and the strobe lights and tax lights on. There we go. Okay, there's that aircraft I was a bit worried about. I think we just park over here at the general aviation area just because I would I used to think that might be where they unload cargo I don't re I really don't know well the flaps are taking a long while to come up oh yeah that's it I should probably turn the AP start the APU up we don't need it right now but it's good to have it yeah that one is not in use it seems yeah, yet it still has puppies that are enabled. Usually they would disable the puppies so that uh, pilots can't accidentally approach the wrong runway. You can see a jet wash underneath the aircraft if I throttle up a bit. Although, no, honestly, I don't think that's where the jet wash would be. I think the jet wash would be behind the jets. You know, because that's what caused them, hence the name. And let's just park ourselves here. This is probably general aviation parking, but I'm just going to park her here. And parking brakes set. And let's power it down. Yeah, I didn't get even close to line up properly, but screw it. I'm actually going to see if I can open some of these doors, so just give me a moment here.
I'm curious. Return. Doors. Open. Disarm. Open. Disarm. Open. Okay, so those are just the things. So the, those two doors, and then the, there's the rear cargo door. Yeah, because that was a flight from Leipzig to Moscow in a Boeing 777-200 uh, freighter of Lufthansa. I'm button 25. Goodbye.